Welcome to Phoenix Iwaki. It's a pleasure to be here with you today. And we are brought to you by the kind support of CZRPG, Phoenix Dice, Troll Lord Games, and Nathrax 3D Minis. Look out for your chance to win in our fabulous giveaways. Check the session for today's giveaway. And of course, you can get yourselves a lovely discount over on their homepages using the coupon codes that will pop up in chat. Do not miss this amazing stuff. CZRPG with their beautiful encounter design, maps, a fantastic Patreon for you to join. Phoenix Dice, their incredible, sustainably produced, recycled packaging and everything. The wonderful Click Lap Math Rocks, do check them out. Troll Lord Games with their incredible Castles and Crusades original system and lots of D&D content as well. And the beautiful 3D printed and beautifully painted, if you wish, minis of Nathrax 3D minis. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Please check them out and let them know that the Odyssey sent you. Now, let us also say a huge thank you to the wonderful people over at Sirenscape. Amazing music and sound effects for your games and just makes the whole experience a completely different level. Check them out. Stuff for D&D, Pathfinder, Call of Cthulhu, other game systems, board games, science fiction, fantasy, everything you need. Link in chat for your chance to get a free trial of this amazing product. Now, let's get into the session. To adventure! wherever and whenever you are, I'm in the right place. <laughs> Nobody else's. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, I thought I might get one, one or two of you by just by chance, but no. <laughs> no. Not today, loins. Not today. Hello, everyone. Um, I will shuffle these fools around in a second, but... <laughs> oh, I'm Kaviri. <laughs> <laughs> um, Marin, yes. you're Bjorn. <laughs> I said don't watch stream. I just wanted to see, I just wanted to see the camera placement. I'm gonna turn off stream. <laughs> this is the real reason I asked you to close it. <laughs> so, ignore my embarrassment, sir. <laughs> um so yes, hello everybody. <laughs> How are you doing? We are Phoenix Iwaki and we are back here in our Ravenloft with our fantastic Barovia and Beyond crew here, as the map is gonna pop into existence in just a moment. Give it a second. Um, as we return here to the domain of dread known as Harakir, the deserts and pyramids and monuments and immortal god kings and animal headed priests of said god king. Um, and this is where we find our adventurers and we'll be jumping in and joining up with them in just a moment. Let us say one little thank you <laughs> yes, character roulettes apparently <laughs> this seems new <laughs> i know yeah Mac, uh, i will i will resume service as normal in just a, just a moment <laughs> um let me just get through a little bit of spiel here um shout out to of course the fabulous emma city art who does beautiful arts like this um except for kathiri in which case shout out to the wonderful cobalt press because <laughs> they do cool art as well um and we will be joined today by a new friend. I really have to put you in the right places for this one. <laughs> Just a moment, please. Please hold. <laughs> okay, I need to A, a put... new old friend. You need to go there. That's that one sorted. <laughs> I'm just going to do this one by one. You need to go there. And then you you three are all in the, entirely the wrong place. Okay, hang on. You go there. And then you go back there. And then you go there. Is that right? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Curses. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta get this right. So I'm just juggling around all of the things here. Okay, I need to go. There we go. That goes over there. <laughs> it's like a puzzle. A little puzzle game. <laughs> hang on. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. So that puts, that's put me in the right place, at least, anyway. And then... <laughs> Give us the power, John. You know, you want to. <sighs> it's stressful. It's so stressful. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh no, that's going to really fuck things up. Hang on. <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. Okay. Um, please introduce yourselves while I am figuring this out. Um, and. Which order do you go from? We don't know what the screen says. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Uh, um, uh, 
Uh, who's let's, this? Let's talk um, to our new friend here. Who's here or here? Possibly here. <laughs> Be there. Not sure. He's somewhere. <laughs> yes, let's talk to our new friend. Um, Josh, people in chat will probably know you rather well. Hello. Um, yes, please. <laughs> Uh, hello, my name is Josh. You've seen me uh, hopefully many places. Fire Maw, Tone, Waku. Now I'm playing Fushido. Um, and I was the DM for the uh, Deadlands game. Uh, tonight I'll be joining us. Uh, I'll be joining these wonderful people as Kafiri, the uh, Tabaxi Rogue. Who. Uh... Although. We're in Harakia, not Tabaxi, you are Bastet Oh, sorry, Bastetti. the Basteti yes. rogue. <laughs> uh, we'll leave the rest to the session, I think. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> you are now uh, all in the right places, by the way. <laughs> so, um, whoever is here. <laughs> I don't know what happened. It'd be funny if there's uh, no one on that Yeah, all right. <laughs> Whoever's here, and um, below you we have Edgar. Oh, below, below me. <laughs> yeah. Whoever, whoever's here. <laughs> below me, dude. It's, just, it's rude. It's rude, isn't it? I thought it was rude. He just arrived. And he's always throwing out these obscenities. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Edgar, please. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I am Edgar Phelan, the Spore Druid Mapak. Uh, and currently, uh. It's honestly pretty positive. The the trials of the gods went through pretty smoothly, and so he's <laughs> like, you know what? Yeah, this we're fine. We're chill <laughs> at the moment. Like, okay, just hanging out. Yeah, ready to yeah, ready to move on. Next thing. He's okay. like, exactly. Like, not, yeah, not, you, not the next one out the park. park checklist. <laughs> next thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving along. Esmeralda, reborn my... wizard fighter. Did you see that shows when you popped into chat there? I also put everyone's uh, race and class on their frames now as well. Oh, really? So yes, we have a Bastetti Rogue, we have a Mapak Druid, and we have a Reborn Wizard Fighter. Oh, I haven't seen mine yet. I'm wizard Fighter. I fight wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Stop hitting uh, yourself. Stop hitting yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you hit so hard, ow. <laughs> oh, I'm a shifter paladin. That makes sense. Right? <laughs> He's very shifty. Um, yes, hello, uh, my name is Mare, and I play Admiral Daphneer, the blazing reborn Vistani Bottlebuster, or a suborder of those words. Uh, <laughs> those are words? Are we, they're words, and I put them in that order because they're relevant, mostly. Um, how are we doing? We were swole AF last session, but I think we're back to most the normal this, this session, which is still pretty swole AF. Um, but no, we also loved up recently, so we're excited about our new spells. We feel very powerful. And uh, no, we're we're just chilling. We are we're good. <laughs> just chilling. Just chilling. Okay. Just chilling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And last but not least, Bjorn Habon, Shifter Paladin. Hello, uh, it's me, Shez. Uh, Shez lands in the chat and on all socials. Um, uh, last week I was really sick, so I couldn't be here. But thank you for having me. It's uh, okay. No, we did not play, so you don't miss anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, what? I was out too. You're gone, you just couldn't. <laughs> oh my god. Just the, the mere thought of it. Oh. What's all this about gods and trials and stuff? You were there too. <laughs> oh shit. Where I, yeah, Bjorn, Bjorn uh, remembers, sort of, and I'm sure he will. Hard, hard reset. Be yeah, yeah, hard reset. Uh, yeah, uh, Bjorn's uh, psyched to be continuing on this journey to uh, liberate the ladies of the Thanes, as he always is. <laughs> Thank you for having him. <laughs> I was like, super excited about everything. <laughs> waka waka. Waka waka. Uh -huh. He it. likes carrots, he doesn't like peanuts. Wait, no, he, he likes peanuts, he doesn't like carrots. In, in advert, <laughs> Has this in, come up yet? Inadvertent inside joke. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. Okay. Only for the people who watch anime will they get that. Nope. Ah! <laughs> I've added myself, I guess. <laughs> you, you, uh, you just inadvertently uh, re referenced a, a previous character in the Wikiverse. Oh, did I actually? Oh, yes. <laughs> in fact, this I, I said his name. This one? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. Here? Anyway, That's how you summon him. You have to say his name three times and then turn around. Oh, you only said it twice, so we're okay. Okay, now. <laughs> um, oh, as, <nuts. laughs> as we return to these fine folks here, yes, as Edgar remembered, they made their way through the Badlands, through the strange canyons with their alien beasts and weird portals, protected by riddles. The trial 
of the sands of Sut, the breath of the false engulfing them in the sandstorm that teleported them to this strange test that they were put through, but successfully. And they have emerged the other side, and as they came back out into the desert, they saw their goal ahead of them, far to the south, the large pyramidal shape of Usa's pyramid on the edge of the mountains in the southern edges of the desert here. But between them and offering the potential for rest and respite after their ordeal of getting through the canyons and a chance to take shelter as the night time is swiftly approaching the desert here. They saw the strangely geometrical shapes in the rocks ahead of them and realized that they were on the verge of arriving at the missing monuments. Fabled relics of the ancient days when the old gods were still revered. And it is towards these ruins that they move now. And just before we jump into things proper, um, a shout out to everyone who's joined us since we got started. Thank you. Nice to see everybody. And if you are not already, please do jump into our giveaway. The fabulous CZRPG, who is an incredible creative peep in the D&D space, is donating to us digital copies of their fantastic um, Forsaken Bog one-shot setting. You can play it as a one-shot or drop it into your campaigns as you see fit. Exclamation mark, enter in chat there, and we shall draw the lucky winner at the end of the session. If you have to look, do not worry, just still be logged into chat and you will be eligible to get your prize in your Twitch Whispers or on uh, Discord, wherever you're at. Okay, now. Edgar, Esmeralda and Bjorn, you are moving forward and towards the strange man-made looking edifices before you, popping out of the rocks there. And it's like the entire desert on fire as the evening comes and the sun dips low towards the western edge. And the sands and the rocks turn that vibrant burnt orange of evening time. And you can see the dark openings in the rock faces and the carved entrances on the edges of these rock pillars, much like those behind me here in the in the video. Um, and you can see them all offering the temptation of a cool interior and shelter from the night's chill, as it will simply become too cool <laughs> to be out here, um, as is the way of deserts. Now, you... I'm free to do what you wish. <laughs> okay, you can come. Mike, come. Oh my. Such strange designs here. How the cure is for the machine. But. Which I'll say, shall we start to rest up around here, set up camp? It is getting later in the night. Well, that's some sort of shelter, I agree. The issue is it's super hot right now and it's going to be super cold later, so we got to like post up somewhere where we can temperature regulate. <laughs> How scientific, Bjorn. <laughs> yeah, I'm like really into uh, temperature regulation now, considering I'm <laughs> mostly covered in hair in the hottest place in the universe. <laughs> An expert, I see it. Those, those on the elemental plane of fire would t tend to disagree. But... <laughs> no, no, no. There it's the heat. Here it's the humidity. <laughs> desert? Okay. It's a very humid desert. Or have you started talking about Japan now? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> and Edgar's actually going to start to like pat closer to at least the structure's buildings and kind of curious if there's any etches, engravings. Mm -hmm. like things of that nature okay 
Um, let me see if I can do something here. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, this one will do. A dark hafted arrow with black feathers on the end erupts into the sand next to you. Edgar Look out, of... there's an arrow. <laughs> ah! Trips, trips oh, over. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that? It just erupted out of the sand. Watch yes, that. I know. This it's an arrow, arrow garden. Trips on that arrow. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Wow, that was a good night. F is in chat for levity, everyone. F is in chat. The desert's shooting arrows at us. <laughs> and he, and he's... They're um, sprouting from the ground. Can we do a perception check? <laughs> and see where it came from? You certainly shall. You can, yes. Um, I get advantage on that, don't I? Because I have three extra eyes? Um, you do not. Still? No. Wait, I thought I, I, thought I did. No, it wasn't a permanent thing. That was uh, one of those. My eyes are gone? The, the ones... Not, not all of them. No. Welcome to the club, <laughs> sister. <laughs> That's, that's, a very, uh, that's, a very, that's a very all encompassing statement. Um, no. I only rolled a seven. I don't perceive anything. Your extra eyes are gone. Uh, <laughs> I could have used some I of those. I just my day is ruined. I have a 15 in my perception. Okay. Uh, I had a double mold yet. I should probably do that. 12. Okay. Bjorn, sorry, what was yours? Uh, it was a seven. Okay. Kafiri, you're not sure if they're exhausted from their journey or just generally incompetent, but they do not spot you, and you missed on purpose. You may proceed, <laughs> proceed as you wish. No, hold on. Edgar rolled a 15. That's pretty good. It's not, it's not incompetent. <laughs> at, at, at this level, that would be impossible for you to see me with those rolls. I, 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 I couldn't roll any number that would uh, let you see me. A natural one, would you wouldn't see me. Oh my god. Until until one D&D &D uh. kicks in. <laughs> until one. Yeah. We are the one. Well, no, no, it's 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 not because of my bonus, it's because as, as a rogue at this level, like, I just roll a ten. Oh yeah, you got the, yeah, no, <laughs> my god, nothing, yeah. Okay, so... Um, for, for yeah. you, what do you do? Um, so, like, I'm I'm in the in the structure. You are um, in the, your little outpost, kind of like little lookout spot um, like up in tower? the. It's like it's basically like um, uh, Petra. You know, like so, so it's like the carved kind of like temple front in the rock. Um, okay. And then you are like up in the kind of like roof space, and there is a, a lookout over the uh, the sands that are in front of the entrance. Then, um, seeing seeing that they are more confused than aggressive, <laughs> um, marveling at this arrow. Yes, uh, <laughs> wondering at my wonderful arrow garden. Um, <laughs> You see, really don't grow on trees. They you hear grow what? On the ground. <laughs> you hear what? Does it have roots? <laughs> I was wondering. I was came from. We'll we'll jump out of the um. We'll we'll we'll, we'll climb down with my climbing speed. It's fun to say. I have a climb speed. Aww, Thank you for really being cute. best at the. Uh, we'll kind of like <laughs> use our claws to mm -hmm. kind of slow our speed as we're coming down the uh, the side of the. It's pretty easy stone. in the in the sandstone, yeah. Um, and now that they uh, and make myself known and make it so that everyone can so yes, see me the three of you see a shadow detach itself from the entranceway and flow across the rock that. onto the ground below oh my did, <laughs> did you grow this arrow here? <laughs> <laughs> yes and we can grow many more things <laughs> they have arrow farmers in Harakir that's so interesting we just make them out of twigs we find the growing of arrows is more effective. <laughs> However, I always thought when two bulls fell in love, <laughs> they buy a nice quiver with a white picket strap, <laughs> grow some arrows together. You approach upon the land of the gods. What is your business here? 
Now, Kafiri, you're only comfortable saying that because they look like such outsiders. You would know, you know, you, you would never mention. Although I suppose, you know, the, the land of the gods is, is uh, you know, abstract enough to it could mean the new false gods. Did you say gods? He definitely does not mean the new false ones. We're telling everyone. <laughs> <laughs> He looks at the arrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeez, I shouldn't have missed. <laughs> at least we are aware he shouldn't be taking us to any trial of the gods. I did but... not say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, we just finished the trial of the gods. Leave us alone. Now, actually, you do... Um, as you know, like look around properly and you're closer to the structure now, um, you can see some of the carvings and whilst they've been basic, almost like blasted, you know, like smooth by the um, sandstorms and, and things passing through and the, and the age that they've been here, um, you do recognize some of the forms and the carvings, but you, you recognize them from the um, murals that you found in the sunken tomb in the labyrinth where it was depicting the old you know, blasphemous gods being overrun and destroyed. And you are surprised that these monuments are here on the surface. Now, Kafiri, you know that this is a an ideal um, base of operations for the um, the uh, Muhadijin, uh, Muhadijin Bik hmm? Hang on, I always forget which one is it. Muhad hmm? Mujahideen, there we go. That sounds right. <laughs> there it is. That, um, that is the warriors of... of yes. Um, yes, the, um, this is the ideal base of operations for the Mujahideen because um, the powers that be, even the Dreadlord himself, Angtipot, is unaware that these monuments, missing the, as they are, um, unaware that these monuments are still standing and has not um, sent anyone to destroy them. And, yeah, that, that's why I mentioned the Land of the Gods, because like, they're either supportive or we're going to kill them. Like <laughs> yeah, those are the only, those are the options. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you do you place your sand thumper so you can escape back to the rocks without being eaten? <laughs> <laughs> do the swooshy Fremen walk. B Bjorn Atreides has arrived. <laughs> it's my house. I have not touched it. <laughs> specific giant house. Just a rock. So, what is your business? Hmm. Well, currently we are journeying to Usa's Pyramid, but only to find an answer for us to make way into the pyramids up north. Hmm. Like, unless you just know how to get into those pyramids. I don't, do I? No. <laughs> You will find many answers here, but <laughs> <laughs> not the not that particular answer. Not that particular answer. Yes. <laughs> the answer is we provide our more spiritual in nature. <laughs> At least we can temper our expectations. This is good. <laughs> the um, you think they could potentially find their answers to the south in the pyramid in the mountains because. There is a sphinx. I think you may be able to find the answers to the south in the pyramid because there is a sphinx. It is a strange deja vu. I don't know, John. Must be nothing. It's Josh's favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> I get it, too. Every time you describe something, I just want to say it back. I just want to say it When you're describing like, well the desert is being hot, I just wanted to say it. It's Man, like the sands burning. are burning. <laughs> it is. They land is on fire. I, I, have, I have two things. Well, Repeat, arrow, right re repeating narration and undead rats. <laughs> Wait, undead rats? Right. Oh. Rights. <laughs> well, so the, there. He really oh. wants to defend like, those rights. Uh, life doesn't end in death. You've already, you've, already, you've already had people in chat going, Toln, is that you? <laughs> Just confirming their theories. Or is it? <laughs> Two tones don't make an undead, right? <laughs> well, we all mixed around at the beginning. Who knows who's in that picture? 
Okay, cool. So, like, you're going to take us this thing? So, are you just going to, like, point? Or, like, how's this gonna... Do you want to come? I'm Dracula now, for some reason? <laughs> <laughs> As only why your teeth are getting pointy. It, it, it... He, he looks around, looks at, the, looks at the sun for a brief moment. It is getting quite late. I think... Because we can stay for the night. What is your opinion of this? He gestures to the uh, the monuments behind him. It's like what missing. they survive. Yeah, it's clearly mm-hmm. it's clearly of the old gods, not the uh, the trumped up new pantheon that the Antipods has installed. <laughs> I give it seven out of five. <laughs> That's good enough. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I lean over to. <laughs> <laughs> to Edgar, I guess it's like, do either of them know fractions? <laughs> Not numbers, Bjorn. You think I know? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Is Bjorn the only one who knows math and temperature control? <laughs> but I find monsters. I have magic for mathing stuff. So, so uh, like, why? Um, why? <laughs> I was worried about Evan next week. Kofini okay. <laughs> kind of waves into the distance um, at nothing in particular. And you, you hear a, a, low, a low whistle in reply. We all wave. <laughs> um, oh, really? oh, they weren't waving at me. And Unfortunately, if, so if one person waves, it's safe. If more than one person waves, it means attacks. <laughs> it's arrows. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> they all oh, miss. no, they're making a garden. Wow. <laughs> More of your arrows are sprouting. No, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid, you, you, found the worst part. <laughs> Many people waving is interpreted dance, so please dance for the arrows. <laughs> if you dance in the correct way, no arrow will hit you. <laughs> oh, it's like Major bees. Style, kind of. <laughs> Learning so many new things today. Uh, how, however, That's please, really culture. you will be allowed to stay. So what you want to do is you want to flat the house in front of your window. (laughs) You shall be allowed to stay for the evening. Please, this way. How can worth we deserve? (laughs) Kafiri, um... (laughs) As as these clowns come past you, um... (laughs) um, You do notice one thing interesting. Um... The... Female? I don't, I don't know. It's difficult to tell with them a pack. You're not sure. <laughs> the, the, How often the, to ask? The most, the most human-looking one, <laughs> um, with the extravagant uh, sashes and scarves and things. I'm a human. I just also have like big mutton chops. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> I thought shifters looked human until they shifted. <laughs> um, Do they pretty, not? They're pretty. Uh, Pretty, pretty gone already, I think. Until, until... Yeah, there. I think you still have big butt chop, I think. Surely. Oh, it's pretty oh, yeah, for, sure, for, for our sure. new friend, Kofiri. Thank you, Mike. Ah. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> Are you very serious. Oh, no. Why is your art, what's your art doing there? I have no Fush. idea. Look that art. That's also Fushiro, yes. That's also me. Man of many faces. <laughs> I... Okay, that's weird. There we go. Um, so yes. You... So it's just being... It's being weird. Um, you... Gesture them inside, Kafiri. Um, but yes, as they go past you, you recognise that the... Um, female presenting member... <laughs> of the group... Um, is a similar manner of being to your colleague who is currently away keeping eye on Usa's pyramid. A, another of those reborn. Reborn. Which alarms you a little. Although you feel strangely compelled to campaign for her rights. Um, (laughs) you, um... True. (laughs) You, um... You thought that was a side effect of 
Angtipot's magic. You know, his... his harvesting of the souls here in Harakir of those who've died um, to be risen and called upon when needed. And you thought your colleague, named to be announced, <laughs> has, was um, a side effect of this. What, someone who had broken free of that compulsion to serve Angtipot. But this is clearly a creature of very similar roots and, and, and origins, but not from Harakir as well. Also very clear. Hmm. Sure. Good job. It's a creature. Reminds me of my... <laughs> you dare say the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I have, there's so much I have to catch you up on. Don't do it. Please don't do it every time. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, we've taken a mental nap. <laughs> um, so yes. You all pass through the worn and smoothed off steps and the entranceway to the dark interior and passing into the cavernous chambers beyond you can see that there are makeshift tents uh, or like kind of you know like, um, you know, like partitioned off areas and there are a few other very efficient very kind of like you know I have a job to do. I'm, I'm doing my I'm doing my my allotted task. Um, people being very efficient and moving around the place, and they they nod politely, but not particularly friendly in any way. But um, and uh, acknowledge you your arrival. Um, not many of them particularly look like warriors. There there seems to be a great number of um, kind of scholarly types here. And um, let's see. I have, I have art for the person I want you to talk to, but not the name. Do we get to choose the name? Um, if you like, um, <laughs> we can we could do a good like Phoenix Wacky um, original, and you, you can roll for it. <laughs> Let's do it. Roll me a d10. <laughs> I will. Seven. Seven. Okay, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I now regret that I did get something else that's more ridiculous. Five five and ten were doozies. <laughs> really? Yes. Um, seven is... Okay. Um, Kafiri, your fellow Bastetti um, scribe and scholar, the uh, the female Bastetti known as Iseret, um, is uh, probably someone who will be able to help them with their requests and goals. Yes, I believe <laughs> you should speak with my colleague. You said it. I'm sparing you. <laughs> <laughs> the words pass unsaid, yet we still understand them perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, is that what you're gonna... That was number like five. five that was number five. <laughs> In Roll20 chat. Oh my gosh. That's a Here, mouthful. Here's number ten. <laughs> Oh no, I really wish I rolled a 10. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a lot of syllables. I'm not going to try and pronounce them. <laughs> Sorry, Chad. <laughs> um, I will pronounce them. One is Tatmat Asank, and the other is Nikthotep Iri Bent. All of them TK. I will forget as soon as I turn away from that screen. <laughs> That's okay. Yes. Those are the long ones. Yeah, it's much easier. Definitely would have been abbreviated. <laughs> Um, okay, so yes, um, you are you are settled, um, and uh, there is a, a small kind of fire pit um, built of you know, just a collection of um, rough stones. Hey, thanks for the follow, and um, you are gathered there, and as and you're immediately appreciated as the uh, the night the night chill just wash over Harakir like a like a coming incoming tide, and um, the the fire is a nice, although you, you bemused as to where the timber came from, but <laughs> <laughs> but Ember must have been down here at some point. <laughs> the 
appreciate the hospitality. Um, it's your friend, the Ethernet. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. I just didn't know that. <laughs> Sorry, I said it. Oh, you did? Okay, sorry. He did, he did. <laughs> and you think she can help us? What What does she know? They, she knows many things about <laughs> pyramids. She may be able to assist you with your goals. Will she have the spiritual <laughs> answers or the answers to... <laughs> she has both physical and spiritual answers, depending on the questions in which you ask. <laughs> Understood. So you, you're like not really like the test proctor. You're like the guy at the front gates who like waves you in. I'm like the guy at the front gate who waves you in or kills you. Yes. Okay, so it's pretty really much like the JLPD actually. It's the exact. It's exactly the same. <laughs> I am, I am but a humble arrow farmer. <laughs> <laughs> so is everyone at the JLPD, I, man. I, I... <laughs> Tend to my fields every day, and this is the abuse I receive. <laughs> um, they watered in blood. You, you are all welcome to rest or seek out Iseret, as you wish. Well, if she's here, might as well go over and speak to her unless she's busy slash sleeping. Do you best also sleep 16, 18 hours a day? That'd be awkward. Approximately 20. <laughs> Is she currently awake in this small four hour window? <laughs> it's okay, Har Harakir and Days are 35 hours a second. <laughs> what? <laughs> Doesn't say it. <laughs> They all greet each other like Charlie is in chat there. Happy time zone. Happy time zone. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so yes, you um, you can be introduced if so. If um, Kafferty, you know that um, Isaret will be in the uh, in the scroll chamber. Ooh, there's a scroll chamber. Mm. I would like to look at the scroll chamber. And also Isaret, but the scroll chamber. So, yes, Kafri, are you going to lead them over in that direction? Oh, yes. Right this way. <laughs> do not do not leave. We all walk like an Egyptian on the way. <laughs> this is an Egyptian place. I don't know what you're talking about. That, that is <laughs> insulting, but please, this way. <laughs> do not walk like that. <laughs> walk like a you British said person. <laughs> you said to walk this way. Like, I'm walking this way. <laughs> I walk like a British person in which I uh, pillage Egyptian artifacts and then say that they're mine. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it could be that could be your like your finishing line. Is you do the killing blows like you belong in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> a full mummy, just like you belong in a museum. <laughs> ah. My, my glorious ancestors. <laughs> a lich king, you belong in the museum. <laughs> Just a full actory. Yeah. <laughs> kind of cool. <laughs> Just like, like the you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark is like putting a crate in this massive warehouse. <laughs> yeah. I like this plot point for Bjorn. He just becomes a collector. Like, he just starts taking, like, various things from his own, his fallen, and he's just like, this goes to a museum. <laughs> That's his dream. He's older, but he's too old to become to be a barbarian anymore. He's just a little museum up. <laughs> well, that's, 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 rather. That, that's the thing that you build the legend, a private collection, and then the the museum is a museum about you. Uh, there you go. Here are here are my the museum mass of defeated enemy. <laughs> okay. Remember the time I almost had a date with a lich, and then I lost my eyes. Anyway, I have a dia <laughs> a diorama about it. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to, for you to finish here in Harakir and return to Barovia and what's waiting for you there. A dinosaur I have to romance, if I recall correctly. You wish it was a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> dinosaur lich. Oh, sorry, that's a spin off game or something, right? A Tarask. A <laughs> uh, Tarask, thank you, yeah. Your true love still waits for you. Hey, you brought it on yourself. You challenged people to the, to the, to the fundraising goal and they, they did it. Yeah, I just, you know, hate kids. <laughs> being hungry, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to get rid of those hungry kids. <laughs> By getting rid of your character with a Tarask. <laughs> yeah. 
We all gotta go somewhere. Right after the sunset. That's how it works. <laughs> and then so we're in like a scroll room? A blazing nuclear sunset. <laughs> this, this way, please <laughs> Thank follow you, me, please. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, you do lead them um, into the depths of the temple and all of you, um, you see these, these ancient more intact here with the shelter they're afforded by being on the interior um, and you can clearly see um, what we as players would recognize as the Egyptian pantheon um, you know various um, gods and monuments to all, all different this is not a temple dedicated to a single deity it seems um, a lot of birds here a few a couple yes um, but also jackal headed things and um, um, there must have been some sort of spell jammer influence here there's like <laughs> hippo headed creatures here <laughs> it's like the, the gif the gif deities <laughs> yeah I, I, I considered being a hippo <laughs> that would work it would work um and all you know all those uh, various um things here lit by guttering torches as the the wind comes in howling off the sands of soot um into the interior and there are other figures similarly garbed to um, Kafiri, and many in those white robes as well of the uh, the Magi. Sorry, it, was, it wasn't Mujahideen. I was thinking Magi was the word I was looking for. Kafiri, sorry. Mm. Um, the Magi that you had met in the main city, the ones who had helped you get into the labyrinth and save Krig, kind of catch up with Krig. <laughs> um, and you arrived. Um, you sorry, you arrive um, into the depths here of a, a large square cut chamber with basically honeycombed walls and hundreds upon hundreds of scrolls and you know, papyrus um, scrolls um, stored in the dry safe interior here and the torches are switched out for nice closed lanterns here instead <laughs> Um, this is a happy wizard. <laughs> beautiful kind of tin, tin lanterns with you know the um, kind of those filigree almost like um, carvings on the side. You know, lots of little holes punched out of them, which creates all these little points of light um, throughout. And there is a quite a tall bastetti um, leaning over a large um, table, you know, simple table in the center of the room with various documents and a map of Harakir. Um, unfurled uh, on the main table surface and um, a couple of little sandstone carvings of small lesser deities like keep keeping the corners down and uh, stacks of scrolls and a couple of books and things and uh, Café de Yussi, um Isaret as always engrossed in their work and studies Well, this is Isaret Oh, it's over there Yeah, they're always like this Oh, um, they, okay I almost don't want to bother her. She seems so focused. <laughs> but as as you say her name, she she does um, she rise and she turns around. She's got the you know, tiny little pair of spectacles like perched on her on her nose, and she just like, oh. kind of takes them off and pops them in the pocket. <laughs> Kaffee, oh, 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 oh. Stra strangers from far away. From very far away, I assume. That's I, I thought you would be interested to meet them, Mister Mister Walkers. It would seem that way. Gracious. Mm. Does and... everyone just assume we're mistwalkers all the time? I mean, you don't look like you're from here. And you see... This is very true. He's done it a little bit. <laughs> Me you and, see... like, my, like, wooden plate mill. Like, what gave it away? <laughs> <laughs> and you uh, see... Cannot... Is it? Yeah. Oh, what is a cute kitty? Aw, she looks so happy with all her scrolls. <laughs> yeah. she, she, she quite enjoys scrolls. So oh, I like her. <laughs> Beefy. And <laughs> what's the, what's the delay on chat these days? Because someone just said spell drama. <laughs> oh, yeah. I said that ages ago. <laughs> That'd be quite a bit, bit of a delay for today, folks. Yeah, seems so. <laughs> I know. Then someone entirely just went Mr. Walkers. <laughs> so, <no. laughs> I think that was someone like heard spell drama from across the house as they were listening, oh. doing other things on it. Run across. <laughs> And, um, yes, um, Isaret turns and she's like, oh, Well met, well met everyone. Um, uh, Kaviri, thank you. More, more fascinating finds as always. <laughs> what job, I guess? Fascinating finds? 
<laughs> yes, I found you. You cannot leave, of course. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You can't leave? <laughs> it, it's a joke. <laughs> and I said that to everyone. It's, 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 it's Rick comes he in. He wears an air effect. you with a, with a scroll case. It's like, look at my empty eye sockets. Do I look like I've ever heard a joke? <laughs> Goodness, what, what, what happened to you? Well, you know, like you try to like make it, you know, and then you don't, and and you know, you like break up, and it's fine, and like they keep some of your stuff. <laughs> Ex partner of yours took your eyes. <laughs> well, like we weren't even really a thing. It's just like they offered a trade, you know, eyes for paladin, and I was like, yeah, paladin. <laughs> I didn't actually know about the eyes until it was too late. The, of the bargain went very clear, it seems. It just... Well, I apparently wasn't using them when I had them, so. <laughs> So you don't miss him now, right? <laughs> well, I'm glad you got what you wanted. <laughs> you don't always what get what you want. I'm making. Let but me try sometimes <laughs> you get what you need. Marin, we're we're on the same wavelength. Not Marin, Esmeralda, we're on the same wavelength. <laughs> Yorn opens his eye sockets, he sees through the veil. <laughs> <laughs> Marin. <laughs> Marin. Mar Marin is the only Phoenix Wacky player who has interacted with NPCs from the Wackyverse <laughs> as herself. I so. have. <laughs> For now, anyway. For now. And um, Isra turns and she's like, Well, um, welcome to the missing monuments. I'm glad that you found them. As are we. Hmm. Indeed. Um, Kafiri, are you going to skulk there in the shadows all day? Yes. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is it that brings you to this part of the desert? Our sons are your sons, of course, but why, why so far south? Why the treacherous journey? You didn't travel with the Chosen, did you? <laughs> this is a very, you know, not calming silence to that question. Yeah, Kafiri, <laughs> when um, Isaret was checking if they traveled with suits chosen, who are the devoted to the God King, yeah, to, to the um, to the Undying King um, pick, and the new religion, and pick that one. Yeah, right. And she, yeah, but then they're not. Not answering particularly straight, straight is, is quite alarming. <laughs> oh, the suits chosen? Those guys suck. <laughs> they let us to die enemies. <laughs> oh, I see. So you traveled uh, with was... them at first. Well, and then... no, I don't know. We, we found we them. We met them during a sandstorm. And we didn't realize quite who we were speaking with, I think. You know what? They sort of like kind of came up to us and they were like really cool they were like here we can totally take you in and, and we're not crazy evil or whatever sort of like how you did and then and then they're uh, like yeah. oh we have answers and stuff sort of like how you said and then and then like they took us to a place sort of like how you've just done and then they left us and then we had to do a whole thing sort of like you're about to do <laughs> we have abandonment issues <laughs> <laughs> i'm really good at a badminton <laughs> So let me take you to the maze. <laughs> <laughs> Their air garden was nearly as fine as yours, though. In fact, they didn't have a single one blooming. So that's a point in your favor. It's a family, family tradition, so I appreciate that. You put a lot of work into it. It's me very proud. It's flourishing. <laughs> um. I said, well, what, you, you, you still have okay. I understand. They left you, your missed, your missed walkers or whatever. I don't really understand that part very much, but. Um, we traveled through the mist to get here because we have a goal. That goal might involve toppling your present evil god king person. I understood from context, okay. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Presently, That's we need to get into the Bent but... Pyramid, but to do that, we need to talk to a Sphinx or something? Yes, that's correct. 
I so, where you'd find this space. well, I think we know where we're going next. No, yeah, but I think, I, I think she might know better than me. I know kind of where to go, but I believe that she has more answers as far as this is concerned. Yes, sorry, I was battling roll twenty Shina against. Excuse me, <laughs> abandoned you to. to talk <laughs> it's the just like do this. <laughs> um. Is there it says, um, um, yes, I mean, if there are answers to be found, I can help you and put you in the right direction. At that moment, there is a dull clanging sound, and Kafiri, you recognize it as the bronze gongs that are at the entrance to the caves, which means that some shit is going down outside. <laughs> well... We should go to the entrance if you Sounds like, like some shit's going down. Yeah, we just got here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was going to say that actually. That's exactly what I was going to say. That's, that's uncanny, honestly. A Did we ever? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Um, Did we ever get a chance to short rest or anything? Um, you had a short rest, yes. Okay, cool. I'm gonna apply that because I don't think I've done it. So Unless the, you auto did it to my character, would you have done that? No. Okay, cool. The bronze gong, it means, yeah, it, as he says, the shit is going on outside. So um, I have to go probably stab people. Um, <laughs> oh, come with your arrows? I also have this, it, it, this rapier. You, oh, okay, okay. You haven't really taken much of an interest in my life so far, so. No, hold on, we're kind of interested. <laughs> Well, now I have to go stab people. You really picked the wrong time. <laughs> can we perhaps help you? Then we can talk to you afterwards once you take care of what he's taking care of. I would yeah, love I, the process. I would appreciate that very much, actually. A, All right. A waif, I here too. a waif thin, kind of cleric looking figure in long robes just goes flapping past a high speed in sandals, just going, Antipat's, Antipat's revenge has fallen upon us all! Ah! Just, it just goes running into the deeper caverns. <laughs> So, yes, I have to go stab people now. <laughs> so, goodbye. Is you she going to be okay? Maybe, maybe not. We'll, we'll figure it out later. Uh, oh, and okay, okay. And Kefiri uh, <laughs> takes off. Yeah. Okay. I keep thinking it was Kefir, and it's to make me happy. <laughs> I'm <Almost laughs> slightly hungry. <laughs> um, okay, so, yeah, you um, see um, all of the um, people like panicking and uh, all sorts of you know, general... Um, things going on um, and uh, battle stations being joined and Maharishi thank you my friend <laughs> what's up baby and um, you are I'm going to close this hand so it works. Um, you go charging towards the uh, the entrance there to the stones and um, just bring you over to this map here Yeah, beautiful, beautiful CTRPG map, everyone. Nice little maps like this. Really so I'm gonna say the uh, the entrance, the entrance to the caves is um, in these stones where you are now. Mm. Um, and tucked away in that nice little hidden hidden um, entrance way there, and um, the open sands are out towards the north there. Okay. Um, so yeah, you emerge emerge from the front of this building and uh, charge out the front there. And you can see a couple of other um, guards um, and uh, Magi uh, warriors there, Kafiri, um, that you recognize, of course. And as you, as you arrive, they just point up at the sky and the last dying remnants of the sunlight um, across the desert illuminate um, an amazing sight. There is a gigantic vulture-like bird that appears to be made of sand flying in the um, sky above the rocks here. Um, yeah, in fact. Is that a Zapdos? It looks like a Zapdos. Oh dear. Got melt that, balls ready? That's, that's <laughs> quite the concerning book. <laughs> um... And it just lets out this huge cry 
um, as it um, is there, and you can see a figure um, on its back um, riding the creature, and you can see it looks like a demon of some kind, a horned creature of de desiccated skin, um, which is attempting to be covered up by kind of like a illusory kind of almost like sand like covering um, but it's just being kind of like disturbed and, and moved aside and made, making them visible um, as the sands um, are being buffeted and blown around by this creature and it leaps down onto the top of one of the rock pillars and just points down and just like bellows something out in a language you do not understand um, as uh, this creature See. Does Kafiri understand? Uh, no, not even, not even Kafiri. Not even I understand this. Um... Why would you yell something for us to hear if we can't understand it? That seems just like poor communication. <laughs> that's, that's kind of the way that things work. Here. Well, see the problem, Esmeralda, is he was not shouting commands to you. He was casting a spell. And oh, that is a problem. Undead creatures start to claw their way up out of the sands and move towards you all. Um, that's, not, that's not great. Hang on. Are they not supposed to grow in your arrow garden? <laughs> no, it's like... It's how he grows arrow? his arrow garden, maybe. It's like a weed. Like, if it's there, my arrows can grow. So here's it's like the... a common occurrence, like you see sand bird and demon is this like a uh, thursday for you is that yeah <laughs> no it's weird. you have Kafiri, you have never seen a creature like this <laughs> say the uh, line Kafiri. <laughs> i've never seen a creature like this <laughs> <laughs> say the line bart <laughs> that's, that's the one, sorry. Uh. <laughs> um so let me Bring some friends out to play here. We're already here, dude. <laughs> Sit up, people. Oh, I'm glad it started with this one. <laughs> it is good music. It's the Egyptian rock opera. <laughs> yeah. So this, this, this is the thing that was writing it over here? Yes, that is the creature right. there, which I would also like to show you because it's awesome. Which is Tarkun the Desiccated. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. I'm usually four on the rights, but like, what's killing me? <laughs> <laughs> no, hold on, it might want the right to vote. It might want equal representation in, in a democratic setting. It's in the wrong realm, realm of dread. Dwayne of dread. <laughs> <laughs> not, not in this place. Here you go, guys. Go. <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, oh, oh. oh, that's cool. <laughs> I love this smoke effect. Yes, so wisps of, wisps of grit dart around the creature's powerful form, its body seemingly made of sand. Only his tall, twisted horns belie this vision, a hint of what lurks beneath. <laughs> well, guys, what's wisps of grit dart around that creature's powerful form, its body seemingly made of sand? Not, not two of you, please, please. <laughs> Dude, terrible people in the room. Oh my yeah. gosh. Muscling in my game. <laughs> Say the second card. <laughs> no. Fine. <laughs> He's trying to Only his tail, something, something. <laughs> um, and finally, last but not least, these terrible things have clawed their way up out of the sand and dirt. Oop. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy looks like cheese. <laughs> Right? He looks like cheese, right? Is that just me? Yeah. Oh, cheese or clouds of biting sand, either or. Um, the Phantom, the lore behind that creature is they were actually um, a, an arch fey long ago, but uh, that's that's probably something uh, Iserit might have in her scrolls somewhere. <laughs> okay, so my friends, let me get some of that sweet, sweet initiative. Okie dokie. <laughs> oh, sure thing there, bud. I don't think you've ever been so Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, they run. Because that sometimes. <laughs> uh, let me get those tons there for you. Type them in. Thank you. <laughs> so, hmm. oh. Oh, no. Why did 
I also rolled a 16. What's your deck score, uh, Az? Uh, plus five. Holy fuck, yeah, you go first. <laughs> I'll just reduce By my way, um, Rishi, Rishi, if you're there, mate, um, tell me, who does that uh, spin of the wheel go to as we're kicking off combat here? Okay, oh, it did go in. That was weird. I didn't hear it. The, the music was too epic. <laughs> Um, and our little zombie friends here. Yeah, it's not making the noise. It's running silent. And this one. Okay. So. Ooh, it's another 20. Oh no. <laughs> um, Kathiri, what's your uh, dicks? 20. Hmm? 20. <laughs> Christ. So, like, I'm, plus I'm, a five? Level, I'm a level 11, you know, like. Okay, you go first. Mine is a mere 14. I just rolled very well. <laughs> is there a way for you to switch me and Ez? Um, in a sec. Yeah, cool. There you go. Okay, so yes, Kathiri, you see this. What do you do? Uh, we're gonna just bolt forward, uh, to. Three, four. Uh, you can't cross over. Uh, it's, it's, can it's, I, it's can I climb it? You can, but it's it's about it's like thirty feet to the top. Thirty feet. So okay. So, so you can me, climb climb on top. Of it. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I use my feline agility. Yes. Uh, and it's thirty feet to the top. I have a thirty foot climb speed, so it's fine. Yep. Um, can what I get does to him? It say our climb speed. Um. You can get to the I top. have a climb. Yeah. Okay. Thirty feet to the top, and then feline agility gives you another movement. Yeah, it gives me double my. Um, well, the problem is, yeah, there's, you have to climb down the other side. <laughs> okay. If you, I mean, if you're going to climb up and shoot something at him, that would work. But perhaps otherwise, um, dashing up to the zombies at the entrance would be faster. Um. Let's see. Oh, it's because he's a two max. So <laughs> yeah. Four, five. Four, five. Um, I don't want to waste my one easy advantage on a zombie. <laughs> so we're gonna um, we are gonna use feline agility, but we're gonna move quick. We're gonna go uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five. 50. 55. Now one of them will get to attack you, right? Yes. Okay. They go to make a slam attack against you. Okay. <laughs> and it'll work. Oh, not sure one. <laughs> you know? It's gonna be a no. I reckon so. Um, and so I have advantage because it hasn't acted yet. Yes. And we'll go at him with the rapier. Not what I wanted to see. Uh, I'm, I'm high level. Bonuses. 16. 16 against the bird? The bird. Oh, the, the bird is flying. The bird is flying? Yes, yes, yes. How far off the ground is it? Oh. Um, it is it was above the rocks. You, you can see it as you came out. You know, they were pointing up at it as you came out. Like I said, so it would be it would be like forty feet up. So yeah, then sixteen against the, the zombie. This here. guy here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll um, just take him out. That hits. Um, okay. Uh, the basic rapier damage is eight. Okay. And I have a rapier of wounding. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it's very weird. <laughs> <laughs> so like the regular rapier is a heal. Um, he well, that's 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 the interesting bit. <laughs> um, he takes one necrotic damage, and then makes a DC 15 saving throw. Okay, so what was the total damage? Um, 
I haven't done my sneak attack yet. Uh, oh God. So it was eight piercing, mm -hmm. one necrotic, mm -hmm. and let's just click click the sneak attack. Do I have a sneak attack button? Should be like the bottom of your it should be the bottom actions. Screen, yeah. There it is. I'm not rolling 66 manually. <laughs> uh, 17 sneak attack damage. Which I guess would be piercing. Okay, so 26. Yes. Okay. I know Rogue is uh, very. Oh, he's an assassin. Hmm. Now, um, it's going to use its shifting sands reaction to minus a d12 from that, so it minuses nine from that. Okay. Um, but that's going to be still. It's going to be. Uh, uh, so the, the what was the sync set? It was seventeen, right? Plus seventeen. So yeah. So eight, seven, seventeen. 17. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty-five, twenty-six total. So it was. 26. 20, 25 yep. piercing. Mm -hmm. One necrotic. Yep. So it takes 16 damage. And it needs to make a DC 15 saving throw. Con? Or what? It's a really weird effect for the weapon. Oh. Every time I wound it, yep. the number of D4s I roll on that necrotic increases until oh, that's it makes so the cool. save. Okay, but which stats is it? Con? Con, sorry. Okay, yep. Um, it's going to be Dirty 20. Yep. So reset to zero. Okay. But just it if it matters, just so you know, it can't heal magically. It has to heal with a short or long rest <laughs> any damage that is done by my room. Okay. That's cool. That's it. Awesome. Okay. Anything else in your turn? Nope. Um, well, I have, I have bonus actions. I'm a rogue. Do you uh, or the uh, demon? Um, so, sorry, I'm not used to having bonus actions. Uh, I'm gonna... Uh, did, you played a rogue for a long time, Mason. I can dodge, right? Uh, so actually, you can't dodge with uh, using uncanny, uh, um, the, with, oh, with the bonus. Oh, okay, uh, I, I disengage and take my last step over here. Is dodge not part of the uncanny? Uh, or not part oh, of no, the... no, no. It's disengage, no. hide, uh, and dash, right? Dodge. Yeah. There, dodge. there were occasions where I did accidentally, like, use it as a dodge. But, um, I, I also, take also Kafiri, both, both of them are taking their reactions. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Um, then I, um... I dash? Yeah, get the hell out of there, dude. I do that? I can do that. If you take opportunity okay. attacks, yeah. Okay. Hide? Yep, hide there as well. Uh, well, like, there's nowhere to hide, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Just unless, unless, like yeah, unless I can. You're the mm, DM. Nothing, Smoke bomb. Nowhere, nowhere like, you... immediate. No. Melt the stone. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna... That's their gig. I'm still there. Still there Throw talk. some sand handles on yourself. <laughs> I'm, at, I'm gonna kind of come over to this little <laughs> crevice. <laughs> still within the bird strike zone, so you haven't triggered, like, an opportunity attack. Uh, it's he's, 40 he's feet up. Out. He's 40 feet up. Oh, so right. we're gonna we're just gonna be in this little crevice here. Okay. How'd you hit the bird if he's forty feet up? I did. He didn't. I hit. I hit this okay. guy. Oh my bad, my bad. See, so yeah, those are multiples of ten. Is that a really long arm? Oh yeah, yeah. Just the one forty foot long arm. Um, you know okay. cats can be any shape they want, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm going yeah, into liquid. this, this yeah, crevice liquid. here. At the end, at the end of your turn, Tarkun the desiccated uses a legendary action to uh -oh. just clamber down that rock face. Um, seemingly um, almost floating down to the ground with just the, the sands just whirling around them. And then it's their turn, so they will rush across to you. <laughs> okay. And attack! Um, 16. Okay, he... Actually, because I'm just curious, and I want to I want to try all these toys. Um, so... He's, being a guinea pig. Before he runs over, before he runs over, he's gonna fire a searing sand bolt. Where? Rah. Twenty-two. To hit? Yes. yes. That is gonna be fifteen fire damage. Okay. Intense quack. Intense raiding. quack with a raid. Hey, quacks, how you doing? Welcome, raiders. We are battling against um, terrible. In undead creatures in the sands of Harakir in Ravenloft. I hope you had a fantastic it's five, like, cheese golems, one Zapdos, and like one spooky guy. 
<laughs> ah, what he said. <laughs> Good to see you again, Quick. I hope you had a great session. What were we playing? So Dungeons and Dragons. Awesome. Um, everyone give them a follow, please. And uh, Raiders, please jump into our giveaway. Exclamation mark, enter. And the Discord there. Thank you, Phantom. Okay. Um, so yeah, that hits for 15 fire damage. Okay. Um, Kafiri. And then he just comes, as as it slams into you, you're just kind of reeling from that damage. Then you just see this demonic visage just charging towards you and the palm out and it's tries attempts to slam into your fist into your uh, into your form um, slam into his fist please <laughs> just hold out your dagger 18 fine. yep that'll hit okay um that is going to be um eight bludgeoning and 65 and poison 10 fire okay so eight. it's a total of 33 damage there. 8 bludgeoning and... 8 bludgeoning and 10 fire. And then 15 from before. Okay. I hope you're a chunk. I'm not, but I'm (laughs) probably fine. And can can you roll me a constitution saving throw, please? Yes, uh, I will use uncanny dodge to take half of that. Please. Uh, Roll a con save first. 7. 7, okay. You are cursed with Tarkun's desiccation, and you may also not regain HP. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Worse things have happened. <laughs> it's um, like those guys are being necrotic at each other. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> um, speaking of worse things, um, there is a ear-splitting screech, and our big bird friend there is going to come flying over to you, Esmeralda. <laughs> okay. Just comes barreling down out of the sky towards you and goes to attack. Um, let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, it goes with its beak. Ha! Only a 12. <laughs> this is. And it's Talon. 26. <laughs> That'll hit. That will yep, hit. Even the sure they won't. Um, and that is going to be ten slashing. Okay. And three fire. Okay. And uh, yes. uh, can I use one of my superiority dice to do a re- wait, hang on, I'm not sure if I can if it no if it hits me, I think I can't. Never mind. Nope. As you were. <laughs> oh, good luck. Um actually no I can because it missed me the first time. I'd like to um, use my reaction to expend a superior die to attack it. Okay, please do. Um, They're over okay. post. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go at it with... Um, I forget which one it was I had in which hand. Um, but I guess I'll go at it with uh, my... Which one was it? With my rapier, I guess? Um, okay. Other than that one. Ooh. Yeah, just this sudden, just this huge, you know, gigantic creature just swooping down at you um, is, uh, yeah, it just throws you off a little bit. And um, as that um, that beak, uh, sorry, the talon gouges into you and you feel the heat of this thing, the, the intense heat of this thing is is, uh, is quite overwhelming. And uh, yeah, you are not, una- are not able to hit it, I'm afraid. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, as as it swoops down, it, it does that um, that peck and that swipe with its talons Drill so, very swiftly, well. and then swoops up, and all of you are buffeted by this intensely hot wind as it just soars up forty feet above you. And that brings us to your turn, Esmeralda. It does. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try and minimize the chances of that happening again. Mm-hmm. Um, immediately, blade song is going up. <laughs> yes. Um, as is tradition. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to cast mirror image on myself as mm-hmm. is tradition um, and then I'm going to um, hang on, where is that mirror image yep and then I'm going to use my movement to go scooch right up to the zombies yeah you can go th- you can just go through that space there because it's up above yeah. I've got when I have blade song up I think my movement changes to 40 feet instead of 30 let me just double check that nice um Walk speed increases by 10 feet, yeah. So I get up to 40 feet of movement. So, uh, 
Mind you, we're Bjorn, you're next. Some reason my thing's not. Oh, there it is. I'm the wrong. There we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. I'm right up next to these guys. Okay. Daring them to attack me. Mm-hmm. That one, that one to the to your left is is injured. Yep, I've already cast my spell and done my um, my bonus action though, okay. so I'm just gonna go up there and look menacing. Okay, <laughs> Bjorn Hardborn. You going for you? Um, is there any way for me to know that if we kill the main guy, that all the other guys will disappear, or is that just like impossible? To Game of Thrones stuff. You, you don't know. <laughs> just leap on him with a dagger. Yeah. Okay. How close is this bird? Big bird. Forty feet up. 40 feet up. All right. I'm going to use my bonus action to cast a magic weapon mm -hmm. on yeah. my longbow. Okay. You can uh, also... Do, do you have a 10-foot reach on anything? Uh, well, I have a halberd, which has a 10-foot reach, and then my okay. shadow thing gives me an extra 10-foot. Okay, because you could, if you climbed up climbed up the rock there, you would be able to get it. But... Oh, okay, yeah. How much is the... Or how tall is the rock? I would say, like, the top of all these are, like, th basically 30 feet tall. So. Okay, yeah, then yeah, I will. Uh, I've got 30 feet of movement, which means I can make it up 15 feet up one of these things. Yes. So let's say that I'm here, that's like halfway up this rock. Hey, Phantom, all the best, mate. Take care. And then that puts me within 25 feet of the bird, is that right? Um, you climb 15 feet? That's all I can climb, right? Because I have yeah. 30 feet of walking speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah climbing is two right. foot per. Yeah. So yeah, 25 up, yeah. All right, then I will do that. Oh, well, next turn I can do a thing. Mm -hmm. um, but then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I'm still not close enough. So what I'll do is I'll use my bonus action cast um, magic weapon. Where is it? Yeah. So expend the second magic level weapon. spell slot. Magic weapon. <laughs> hit that longbow. Longbow is now uh, plus six to hit. Okay. And um, what else is magic weapon do? Okay, plus six to hit. Um, oh yeah, it's, uh, so it's plus one on attack and damage rolls. So it's originally plus five to hit, so it's plus six to hit now, and then the damage is one d eight plus two instead of plus one. Okay. Uh, does my improved divine smite? Um, it, it says melee weapons. Does that not include range? No. Okay. Uh, then I will try and hit this bird. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, uh, 14 to hit the bird? Misses, I'm afraid. Alright, second attack. Ooh, 24 to hit the bird. That'll do it. Sweet. Uh, roll that d8. I heard that weak to ice and rock type moves. <laughs> That's, uh, 6 magical damage. Nice. Yeah. Does a little the baby amount of damage. <laughs> it's okay. It would have been hard if it wasn't magical, so that's good. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, action, bonus, action, movement. No, that's it, Daddy. No, get up. <laughs> and um, let me try something here. <laughs> get down here, you fucking asshole! Let's <laughs> <laughs> have movement on these. Okay. Um. So yes. This, you say, as you say, get down here. Um, one of these creatures seems to um, misunderstood what you're saying and, and does a like, get up here instead. And one of the, um, one of the kind of sand-like zombies just melds um, Esmeralda and um, Kafiri. You see this one just meld into the rock, and it just comes out of the stone at your feet, Bjorn. As it just you, burrows that's straight cool. up through the rock. <laughs> you cheese the bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, those two. Will st Stay on Esmeralda and be joined by their friend. And this one will help the boss over here. Edgar, get up here, it's 2v1. <laughs> <laughs> um, also, I. Yes, um, at the end of uh, Bjorn's turn, actually, um, the um, Tarkoon will use two of their legendary actions. To uh, do their attack against yeah. you, Kapiri again. Oof. Um, that's gonna be. Only a 10, though. Okay, that's a miss. 
Okay, so you dodge out of the way, ducking into the crevice in the rocks there. And then these creatures attack. Um, so, going around the top there. So, Kafiri, starting with you. Um, okay. Slam! 12, <laughs> misses, right? Yes. And 12 again, <laughs> misses. And then um, against you, Esmeralda. I have AC, AC of 23 at the moment. Okay, so. miss, 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 miss. 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 <laughs> Yay! <laughs> da, 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 da. Bjorn. <laughs> Oof, natural 20. <laughs> well, I still have cheesy. some divisions. <laughs> until, actually... until one d and <laughs> um, Okay, so Bjorn, you take... Um, as this creature just bursts out of the rock beside you and just like slams into you with this whirling sand and uh, in, you know, huge force behind it. Um, as you take uh, six, plus, so you take seventeen bludgeoning, Bjorn. Oh my God! Uh, yeah, reduced to fourteen, but still. Yep. And then it's second attack. I hate sand. Dirty <laughs> twenty. Cut that. Dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You're gonna need the shield or something, y'all. <laughs> um, that is gonna be. Five bludgeoning. It reduces the uh, two. And it's going to use. I love Have Never Master. <laughs> um, because because both slam attacks hit the same creature, you are blinded by the sand and everything in your face. I literally don't have eyes. I, I don't think he should be allowed to cast this on me. I don't have eyes. <laughs> it's, I see through the sheer willpower of the gods. Yeah, that is fair. Actually, yeah, I'll say your dark gift does nullify that. What? Yeah, oh, yeah. hell yeah! yeah. <laughs> talk, talk my way out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Um, you just have to use an action to wipe it free, but yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's fucking in there, you guys. It's in. <laughs> it's literally in the sock. It's already that's so a real dry. That's save oh. to see him scooping sand out of his eyeball pits. Oh, I was literally, no. literally like flicking sand out of there. Oh god. <laughs> Edgar, go for it with Ethereum deck. <laughs> All right. Uh, Edgar's me is gonna be like, Spolax, uh, I may require your assistance on this one, <laughs> as we use a uh, symbiotic entity mm -hmm. for fungus time, and uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to spread my spores and uh, throw them up towards the bird. Uh, can they reach? Uh, it's so it's it's hurls the spores 30 feet, feet away, but then it makes a 10 foot cube. <laughs> That's <funny. There's> a, <laughs> okay. Um, so they'll just have to make a con thing throughout the beginning of the turn. Okay. Uh, but that is all. And again, no six. A ridiculous amount of. <laughs> yep, 44 <laughs> temp HP. <laughs> nice. Um, Kathiri. Um, so I'm assuming I can't squeeze through this corner. No, I'm sorry. You can climb. Uh, I am going to climb. I'm going to bonus action disengage. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, this is 30 feet up, this one as well? Uh, yeah, it's the same, yeah. Just for uh, well, my that. movement my movement is 30, so we're going to get to the top. The, the CZRPG product does come with a very detailed map of just how tall all of them are, but for, for, <laughs> for the sake of uh, keeping it simple. Uh, we're gonna get to the top, and um, for sake of my uh, health, we're going to just do my normal action: is hide. Okay. And just kind of try to use my my desert-colored clothing to just be one with the rock. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, roll me a stealth check. This is gonna be high. Uh, thank you for, for that. Nice rogue stuff. It's 23. Okay. Um, what's Tarkun's passive? <laughs> 24. <laughs> nope. There is a 4, but it's 10 less than 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yep, yeah, they... Hmm. Okay. They are going to just come like whirling up onto the top of the rock here and then just completely miss you. As you kind of blend effortlessly into the scenery, they're looking around and they just snarl angrily and they turn down towards you, Esmeralda, 
oh boy. and um, fire their searing thunderbolt. Ranged attack at you. Uh, only a 14. Misses. What's your AC at the moment? 23. Missing by five or more into a group <laughs> is not good for their friends. So it hits, <laughs> hits one of the zombies instead for 14 fire damage. Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> one of these apaxrusses. This is what you get. Oh dear, they're immune to fire. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> well, the principle of it still that's makes me happy. That's why he was so happy to do that. <laughs> um, and the second one, there's two of them. 15, so yeah, both miss. Again, hits one of the other zombies, but again, no effects, unfortunately. Um, it's okay. He's still feel good of himself. <laughs> and um, actually, as um, Kafiri, um, you saw um, Tarkoon also just burrowed up through that rock. Actually, oh no, no, his, weird. his isn't rock. He just, you can only do sand. Sorry, he did climb. Um, effortless, effortlessly, a hand over hand, up to the rock there, but... Uh, um, okay, which brings us to Zalikum. Now, Zalikum. Let's make a con save me through. Has to make a con save me through. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's gonna be. Uh, da, 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 da. uh, dirty. Uh, no, 19. Uh, passes. Okay. Okay, so that's okay. Yep, yep. Okay, and it is gonna fly, and it's gonna be hovering above this um this creature here the sand creature here um as it goes over here towards um this way and it's going to turn looking down at you bjorn and past you to edgar um as it unleashes its death infused desert breath <laughs> this sounds not very good oh this guy needs to fucking brush his teeth <laughs> Um, so, um, it exhales a, a 30 foot cone down towards you there, so it's nice and spread out when it hits you there, Edgar, I'm afraid. Um, and um, I need you both to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know if it's already added, but you should get like aura protection and. It's too uh, far away. It's like 10 feet, isn't it? Oh. Yes, it is 10 feet. It's all right. You know, that one. you know, John. <laughs> Natural uh, one? Oof. Yes. <laughs> no, I got a 22. Is there okay. any way I can help him? <laughs> Bjorn, you take half damage. Okay. Um, of this. Oh my god. <laughs> Spolax, close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you take... Um, what's that going to be? 7, 11, 15 fire damage and 11 necrotic damage. Um, so it's 26 total. Um, half to 13 for you, Bjorn. And Edgar, because you failed by more than 5, you also get a level of exhaustion. Oof. Understood. <laughs> 13 you said for me? 13 for you, yeah. 69 <laughs> the best hit points. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Bjorn, it will. Your your um. Your plus is in yours. We need to remind everybody else. Okay, cool. Take a bullet. Um, and then it is going to just come and swoop over here and like, be hovering over the center of the battlefield here. Um, as uh, arrows from the other Magi are just like, <laughs> just like but missing it. What a and, like, beautiful non- garden. <laughs> <laughs> Sky garden. <laughs> um, Esmeralda Davin, you. Yeah. So my more unique concern right now is Verb, as opposed to these books who kind of keep just like slashing around me. Yeah. I'm going to cast a spell I actually haven't used before, and I'm going to try okay. and cast Phantasmal Killer on the bird. Ooh. Um, so it's it needs to make a Wisdom 16 saving throw. All right. Now, what kind of effect is that? Uh, it's going to be psychic damage. Mm-hmm. Is it, does it say, does it use any specific words like charmed or anything like that? Um, or illusion or something? It says, um, you tap into the nightmares of a creature you can see within a range and create an illusory manifestation with its fears. Um, on a failed save, the target becomes frightened for the duration. Um, uh, well, I think I would roll in, in the roll 20, so hopefully it actually affects it. <laughs> um, at the end of each of the target's turns, if the spell ends, the target must succeed in wisdom saving through or take 40 10 psychic damage. The tags on Fatanzbull Killer are damage and control, so no charm or anything. 
Okay, um, but yes, um, I'm afraid that is a natural 20 Okay. on well, the saving throw. Does it take okay. half damage? Um, no, it's only, um, I think it's a saver stock, so oh, wow. uh, it's only it fails. Yeah, it's rare for a um, non-cantrip thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yes. Oh well, so that doesn't happen. Big uh, it and that's okay. So I get to use an action just to attack the guy next to me in that case. Gotcha. Um, so you go in with my poison sword. It's 18 to hit. So that's going to be. Um, hey, Space Society. Eight piercing plus my rapier. Uh, plus 12, I probably misses. Oh, that was a real to hit? Just misses. Yeah, okay, so that's me piercing on the guy next to me that's already been damaged. Okay, yep, that is looking pretty bad, but not quite bloodied. Okay, okay. thank you. Nice. Uh, uh, that's everything. Okay, Bjorn Hubbon. Okay. Um, now, now the bird's even further away from me. And I'm now, like, engaged in combat with this cheese demon. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, say, I'm gonna say yes. <laughs> okay. I will. Corsa's Cove with a massive raiding party. Whoa, Hello, Raiders. Oh, welcome. Thanks. Good y'all. to see you, Josh. How are you doing, everyone? <laughs> welcome, everyone. How are oh you doing? Gosh. Welcome in. Welcome in. We oh, are Phoenix Iwaki. We are playing a Ravenloft homebrew game there in Harakir, fighting against a massive sand construct in the shape of a vulture and a demonic fae like creature. That has also emerged from the desert sands along with cheese demons. Quote, unquote. <laughs> oh no, what have I done? <laughs> it's stuck. I mean, they do kind of look like that, though. They, 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 they look like melting cheese. I know it's sand, but still. The bird um, looks like Zapdos. And, the yeah. bird is Zapdos, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm going to take the opportunity to attack, climb the extra th- uh, 15 feet or whatever to get to the top of this hill. Jack Square Peg. It's nice. It's nice to see that uh, Josh is, is so noble in in uh, victory. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm taking the opportunity to attack, John. Um, okay. Uh, has, you haven't left its thing. Oh no, so you climbed on top, right? I climbed uh, mm-hmm. to the top of the. Um, okay. The so hill yeah, or the creature will make its a slam attack. Rah. Sixteen. Uh, just misses. Okay. So you just like out of the way. Yeah. I just scramble away. Yeah. I'm gonna use my bonus action to cast my Vow of Enmity on Bird. Um, <laughs> now I have uh, advantage on attack. Oh wait, enemy against creature you can see. Is Bird within ten feet of me? No. <laughs> oh. Should Bird be within ten feet of you? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks for the follow. Then I'll cast Hunter's Mark. <laughs> Wait, is Hunter's Mark also concentration? Yes, Hunter's Mark is also concentration. Everything a paladin has con- concentration. All right, <laughs> I won't cast anything. <laughs> bad luck, bad luck. Okay, um, um, so I'm guess... gonna shoot it with a longbow. <laughs> um, raiders, my friends, um, please do uh, jump into our giveaway. We got awesome CZRPG um, goodies to give away today. Exclamation mark! Enter in chats there, and if you want to jump in. Give us a follow to see where we're going live, and jump into the Discord to see what's going on with me, Sorecki, at all times. Okay. Anything else, Nebio? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, since I, since I've got concentration on, I can't cast any other spells right now. Right, yeah. Uh, so I will uh, shoot it with my longbow. Okay. Hopefully, draw it within ten feet of me next turn. Uh, okay, that's uh. So the problem with an eighteen creature, to hit a creature with an eighty foot fly speed and flyby. It's not yeah. uh, not not too easy to pin down. Um, and you say 19? 19 to hit, yeah. That hits, yeah. Okay, that's um, 7 radiant damage. Okay, nice. And yeah, the arrow just streaks up into the air and slams into its form. Taste the power of my god, Zapdos. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? Ooh, 7 to hit, so no. Nothing else. Okay. Uh, Done. Um, brings us to the Aprux, oh, Aprux, sorry. Aprux Resils. Uh, sorry, I still have my bonus action. I'll, I'll just shift. Yeah. I will shift with okay. my bonus action just in case. <sighs> okay. Bear, bear, I go bear, from bear. slightly bear man to full bear man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, that brings us to the Aprux Resils. This one glides up through the stone to attack you again. Um, does a couple of those slam attacks. Leave me alone, my guy. I'm more interested in bird, obviously. <laughs> just, He's taken. Uh, just misses. 19. 
Uh, just it, yeah. 11 bludgeoning. And Esmeralda, you're the one again. So it was, it was uh, 22? It was 23. 23, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, my zombie friends. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Miss. Hit! <laughs> I cast shield! <laughs> Which makes it what? Uh, hang on, I think it makes it 28. Okay, it's it, the end of my next turn. It's natural 20, so bad luck. <laughs> well, I still have a plus 5 to AC to the end of my next turn. Or to start my next turn. Um, so, so, I need to get that one <laughs> one moment of glory. That one's just like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, we can go home now. <laughs> um, oh wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I also have, um, I have, mimic, I have mirror images up. I yes. need to roll to see if it hits one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't need, think I needed to cast shield. Um, okay, I have to roll d20. Oop, turn order is Jama. Uh, d20. Yes, I can. You know, home, or... home, homebrew Esmeralda Davenier is a playable character. Yeah, it'll be fine, you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it actually hits me. I rolled low enough. Hey! <laughs> yep, it hits. Okay, so that is going to be... It's not terrible, don't worry. Um, it's 15 bludgeoning. It's the principle of the thing, John. I think it's the first time I've injured you in a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> you hit me last turn, or two turns ago. You got me 13, but yeah, that's so where I played songs. So that was the first one, and um, we got two more. Um, it's now. Sorry, hang on. You said it's, it's now, now 28. Okay, so I need and natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's natural one. I'd also need to roll poorly. Okay, yeah, they all miss. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. This one. Um, this one is going to just move across here and then dash dash through the rock it just comes straight through the stone column and comes next to you Edgar <laughs> just so so Ezra you just see it just going just <laughs> going across the sands like almost like you know like it's just shifting across the sands in front of it and then when it gets to the rock surface it just like almost like ripples as if it's like gone um, you know, pliant and, and almost liquid-like, and it's like mist, you know, rock-coloured mist, and just goes woof through it. And then, um, Edgar, you see that strange, you, you're like, hmm? and turn, like, as you just like, <laughs> it's like this horrible death breath from this bird, um, and then and then the rock in front of you starts to shimmer, you're, you're like shaking the sand out of your eyes, and then this creature just goes, Rrrr! and just comes out Ooh. of the stone. But um, dash to get there, so it can't attack you. Okay. Um, and it brings us your turn. Perfect. With your new friend. <laughs> So, oh, hello there. Uh, <laughs> long, you know, like, immediately goes to Don't say hello, Edgar. Fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going to be uh, 25 to hit. That'll do it. So, uh, where did I put my dice? <laughs> Mints for the death breath. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that is... Sorry, sorry, Mead. I didn't say that properly. It's, it's death-infused desert breath. <laughs> I'm not sure that's really that much better, frankly. <laughs> that's good tea, actually. I, I right? Or, or like a, a craft, craft, craft beer. <laughs> craft beer, yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, and that's uh, ten bludgeoning damage. Cool. Okay. Um, let's see how they do. Is that just regular bludgeoning? Uh, it's with uh my uh stolen thunder weapon, ah, yes. so yeah. it's magical. Okay, so ten damage. Nice. Yep, yep. Um, and. Yeah, not much for the thing. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna let him take an attack of opportunity as I'm gonna start heading towards Esmeralda. Okay. Join my party. Slap. Sixteen. <laughs> uh, that misses. Ah, curse you, slippery folk. <laughs> okay. And that'll get me to about right there, and that is all. That's it. Thank you. Um, Kathiri. I am you are hidden. I'm actually gonna lower my initiative. Okay, yep, yeah, you can drop lower in the thing. Where do you wanna go? By my decks. Um I'm I'm gonna go to nineteen. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I uh am not, not tanky enough <laughs> to await his retribution. No problem. Okay, he um yes, he is gonna just come like just howling and whirling towards you Esmeralda um, just down into the sands there and um, I should show our, our lovely raiders this beautiful art of Tarkun yeah, the desiccated he's so bad I kind of don't want to kill him he's so cool but yeah, everyone, he probably awesome. right. only choice beautiful stuff 
Um, okay, and um, so yeah, he comes charging towards you, Esmeralda, and goes for his. Let's see. So I'm just looking here. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah, okay. So he goes to punch at you with his desiccating fist. <laughs> okay. 17. And natural one. <laughs> My AC 28 laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> Apparently. Um, but yes, um, his frustrated howl comes out <laughs> as he tries to get you. Um, and um, Kathiri, that brings us to your turn. <laughs> uh, so now... <laughs> With that in mind, uh, we're going to come on down. Yep, yep. We're going to take our uh, our dash action as the bonus, because mm -hmm. that took my entire movement to get down. No worries. And come over here. Um, I think he's the one we're the most concerned about. Um, so we're going to attack him. Um, Tarkun? Attacking bird or cheese Grandma Tarkun. Uh, Grandma, oh, the Grand Moth, yes. Do I have advantage? Kenobi! <laughs> <laughs> Not that guy. Although he's probably pretty close to that guy. Nah, he's that so cool looking. Awesome. Look at that. I love it. It's really great. Um, okay. I love it. Go for it, mate. Do I have advantage for attacking from stealth? Um, Not if you... No, because you broke stealth to move. If you'd, if you'd shot, you you could have. Okay. But, uh, you, you know, you've revealed yourself and climbed down and then run across the sand. So, no. no. Okay. Uh... Maths, maths, maths. <laughs> yes. It's gonna be seventeen. Um, I believe that hits. It does. Okay. So the rapier damage is eleven piercing. Gotcha. I was incorrect. Is it? It's magical, I, right? Yeah. Um. Doesn't say magical, but the the weapon is a magic weapon. Yeah, yeah, it's a magic weapon. That was all. Okay. It's not magical. Um, eleven. I was incorrect about the the wounding thing that happens on his turn specifically. Cheese so buns. we'll take mm -hmm. care of that. Yep. Then. And then since Marin's within five feet, mm -hmm. he also gets the the sneaky sneak. Yep. Just give, give me the total damage at the end there. Sneak. Total is twenty-eight. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Excellent. Anything else? But that's where we are. So, uh, bonus, move, act, attack. Yep, all done. All right. Thank you. Um, I think... I like this one more. It's so good. It's, it's good. I'm already <laughs> in. <laughs> it's kind of up there with the bonus rock. <laughs> Um, okay, that brings us to our large vulture construct friend. Um, hmm. I think. I should have seen the construct. It's not even a real vulture. It's just it's just a construct, a social construct. <laughs> the vulture is society, man. Construct, <laughs> interesting. Um, it is going to swoop down at you, Kafiri. Yeah, I saw that coming. <laughs> And goes for you with its beak. Rah! 13. Miss. And then the talon. 15. Miss! Oh. Nice. And then swoops up again out of uh, out of range. And uh, with its flyby. Um, and Esmeralda. It's me! Esmeralda! Um, okay, I want to take up this guy next to me if I can. So I'm okay. going to uh, go in with my poison stick. Um, 17 to hit. Hits. For 11 piercing. Okay. Not down yet? No. It is bloody okay. though. Okay, in that case I'll go in again with my break here. Bloody is half or less, everyone. That's a nat one. Oof. I did not hit that. Um, <laughs> I think it just like morphs around the blade and just like spins, yeah. almost like tears it out of your hand, being like, right. no! <laughs> Mine! Okay, and then um, second time around, is that how it works? Um, I go in again. 16. Hits. For 9. Nine? Yep. 
I love the fire spells that aren't, I suspect, will be very useful at the moment. Yes, you have seen a resistance to that sort of immune. <laughs> okay. Yep. Cool. Anything else? Uh. Not the moment, no. Okay, Bjorn Havorn. Hello. You have your insistent, if I were to... your insistent fan, your stalker is upon you, but apart from that, yes. Um, can I see Demon uh, Tarkun from uh, my height? Yes, I'll say so, yeah. Um, if I can catch him off guard, kind of surprised, would you grant me an advantage on an attack? I think it's going to be difficult to set up a stealth attack with the cheese demon in your face. <laughs> it's not going to be stealthy. <laughs> it's just going to be out of nowhere. I mean, if it's suitably epic, there is such a thing on Phoenix Ueki as cinematic advantage. Okay, well, Ooh. so Misty Step can take me 30 feet towards a creature in a straight line. Okay. The hypotenuse to the guy is more than 30 feet, but yep. however... That'll put you down, it, yeah, it's okay. Um, the x-axis... In, in DD, it doesn't, it doesn't do that. It just, you know, like, it's it's the same. If, it, if you're moving 33 across the map, then going up and down doesn't actually matter oh. unless it's ridiculous. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, like, I figure, you know, if I was trying to be super mappy, I could just pop up above him and then, like, strike down onto him. Mm -hmm. It's kind of epic. Okay, yeah, so you want to you want to um, misty step like ten feet in the air above him. Jump uh, down to the shoulders. <laughs> yes, please. I will misty Run step around. ten feet above him, okay. and then I will uh, swing with my fancy fancy blade. <laughs> that is definitely definitely uh, with advantage. With the fancy fancy blades coming out. <laughs> I'll, put you, not, I'll, I'll put you next to him for starters. Okay. <laughs> so may I get advantage on the hit? Yes. On the first attack, at least. Oh, yes, okay. definitely, definitely. Woo. <laughs> That's a twenty to hit. That'll hit. So smite, you just fight him. <laughs> oh, oh, that's true. I I could just stack a smite on this. Uh, my spell slots are fucking running policy. dry though. Uh, you know he what? He seems chunky. He, he, he seems chunky. Yeah, it's right. it's nitty bitty boys. Okay, hey, Moonclad. All right. Let's do. Um, Th he was thirty feet up there, Thamia. Okay. First, it's ten basic, uh, magical damage. Okay. Uh. On just the weapon itself, mm -hmm. plus improved divine smites, one d eight. I just get that because I'm a paladin at level eleven, so that's five more radiant damage. No, because he didn't. Um, he didn't go from thirty. He didn't like misty step horizontally. Thamio, he he went down diagonally down and appeared just above the uh, the the fate. Okay, so it's ten plus five so far. Time is out to out for your blood, Bjorn. <laughs> <laughs> he can have it, whatever. <laughs> Screw you. Uh, Fifteen so far, and then I will stack a um, regular smite on top of that. Okay. Uh, I have to use. He is not undead. I have to use Aww. third level spell slot for it because I'm out of the other ones. Third well. level spell slot is two uh, d eight, three d eight, four d eight, I believe. Did you? Let me just check that. 2d8 plus 1d8 for each extra spell slot. Yeah, so I'm going to do 4d8 of radiant damage. Is he a fiend? Is he a fiend? He's, he's a fae. Not. He's fae, yes. Ah, he's fae? Okay, mm -hmm. so it's just 4d8. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. <laughs> 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, let me just check. Okay, uh, so 17. Not quite uh, 27. Just a reroll if I want to. Uh, 30. <laughs> 30, uh, 32 radiant damage Ooh. in total this turn. Wow. Okay, he is bloodied. Okay. Can I make my second attack now? <laughs> yes, you may. <laughs> is that also with advantage or just no? Uh, no, no. Okay. I love one. it. I love it. Uh, also, make me um, make me an uh, um, acrobatics check. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. Acrobatics was a shit, a nine. Okay, you take three damage from your fall as you fall okay. awkwardly onto his horns. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, those are some sharp ass horns, man. <laughs> okay, and then it's a 20. Uh, God, what was it? 24 to hit, I think. That hits. Sweet. Um, Smite him again. <laughs> <laughs> do it again, do it again. Okay, so. <laughs> 14 plus, uh, 14 plus 1d8 
uh, which takes it to uh, 17 plus. I will add another third level smite on that bad boy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. We're we're bound to long rest soon, right? It's night time. Two, three, four, five. Wait, uh, two, three, four. Except yeah, not with four. the bird. With the bird, though, it's actually pretty hot. <laughs> Fourteen plus sixteen, so thirty damage in total. Nice. Go so up on. Yes. Tell me what happens. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, I will come down, I'll pop up above him, uh, my weird purple shimmering blade just, like, cutting through one horn at first and taking the other horn in the side, like, oh, that's gonna smart later. And then, uh, me and my shadow come up to, like, crisscross him through the chest and, like, the second attack and just <laughs> radiant energy bursts everywhere. It's just like, fuck these spell slots. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps it is the, the proximity being in the same domain of dread as one of the spirits of the ladies of the Thanes. And you think perhaps there could have been a connection between that beast as they were a fae and the ladies of the Thanes are arch fae. I should have asked them some questions. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been friends. I, I really have to stop trying to hit on people who don't have skin and uh, are basically robbing corpses, you know. And I you, have a dive. I have a fucking dive, you guys. You land yeah. in the sand there next really? to um, the cheese demons and Esmeralda. And okay. <laughs> hey. It is, What's up? <laughs> it is their turn. Um, would they like to go for me? No. <laughs> no, they would not. <laughs> It is a fire very futile task. In fact, one of them is going to go for each of your friends instead. Because that one moves next to Edgar there. I'm oddly flattered. <laughs> I'm slightly concerned. Yeah, you're like, Don't ignore me. <laughs> this one also yeah, comes down here. after Edgar. Come back here right now. Let me fight you. Where's Edgar? Like, we're all at this one party together and he's like far away in the corner. No, he's, he's, just, uh, he's right here. He's right here. Oh, no, I'm right here. I was just, just catching up. <laughs> I feel like he's like 10 feet away from me, man. Little my pack legs. <laughs> um, Thank uh, you, Admir70. JR, just JR. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks, JR. Um, okay, so, um, Kafiri. Uh, 19. Muted. That'll do it. Okay, that's going to be 5 bludgeoning. Alright. And another 19. Five bludgeoning again. And you are blinded by the sound. Um, in your eyes, you have eyes. <laughs> Even with your goggles there in your, in your uh, art. <laughs> oh god, the goggles! They do nothing! <laughs> <laughs> Who made these? It's like I'm wearing nothing at all. That's an oldie. That's Beyond, an oldie for nothing you guys. At all. Uh, Bjorn. <laughs> 22. Did you hit? Yes. Uh, ooh, yeah, that's an hit. Six bludgeoning. It reduced to three. And only a nine on the second attack, so that misses. And then four attacks against Edgar. Oh my god. <laughs> 18. Uh, that hits, and then uh, after you tell me the damage, I'm going to use my reaction. Four bludgeoning. Oh, uh, with, my, with my drum. <laughs> Ooh. It's four bludgeoning. Oh, okay. Sorry, can I use my... Um, I, I keep forgetting that I'm playing a rogue now. Okay, just uncanny dodge one of those down. Sure. It was ten, ten each, we said? Uh, five each. Five each? Okay. So, just gain okay. two. So, okay. uh, so I'm going to use my uh, charge of stolen thunder. Uh, and I need the it, the one that hit me to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Saving throw, saving throw. Boop. Sixteen. Sixteen? Okay, so it's... That'll be a fail. So, uh, as soon as it hits, uh, it's like hitting my shield and it's gonna erupt in a thunderous boom. <laughs> and uh, it's going to take uh, nine thunder damage and be pushed back 10 feet away from me. Oh, that's nice. cool. Um, it just gets pushed through the rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it used its movement to get next to you so it can't, can't come back and use the second attack. <laughs> oh, I love it. That's so good. And um, what was the damage, sorry? Uh, it was nine. Thunder nice. Damage. Okay. Um, the other one is still there, though. I'm gonna try and hit you. <laughs> um, that is gonna be... Ah! Nine. 
Uh, 14? Nope. Oh, no. Okay, that one misses both times. And it's your turn. All right. Um, we... I'm going to look at Stan Phoenix, uh, Zalicum, is that what it is? The, yep, the Zalicum, yep. Okay. We're just calling uh, it Zapdos. <laughs> Zapdos, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I'm tired of you being such a big bird, and he's going to cast Polymorph on it. Oh. Nice. Uh, and so that'll be a wisdom pick throw. Okay. Um... Like, um... Wisdom? Yeah. Isn't Polymorph uh, touch? Uh, Polymorph, it has... Oh, it has a range, but the range is 60 feet, so oh, I'm not sorry. sure if I'm... Yeah, my bad. I thought, I, thought, I thought it was touch for some reason. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, it does not have immutable form, unfortunately. So, Wisdom saving throw? Yep. DC... Uh, DC 17. Okay, for pr- transparency, I'm going to do this in the um, Twitch chat. Okay. <laughs> it has a plus <laughs> zero, right. so it's just a straight 20. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, 17 you said? Yep. There you go. Ah, <laughs> that was <yes>. a 14. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a seagull now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Smaller bird. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess we'll if we kill the do seagull, this. does it also kill the Zapdos, or does it turn back <laughs> no, into it the seagull? Zap, it turns back, back to into Zapdos. A Zapdos. <laughs> That's so don't bad, attack though. the bird. Don't oh, attack the bird right now. Okay. Okay. I love it. No, I don't, no one hit the bird. <laughs> he is not a good bird. I don't think I have. Seagulls like pecking at us. Like, stop <laughs> Get the way. She's. He has just very don't small fly desert breath. <laughs> I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Raven stat book. <laughs> hey, that lost name reading in with a party too. Hey, you doing, Hello. guys? Hope you had a fantastic session. Nice to meet you. Uh, we are playing Ravenloft, Homebrew, Barovia, and beyond. They are battling in the sands of Harakir against a not so terrifying bird now. <laughs> polymorphed, polymorphed into a seagull. I don't think Edgar has never seen a seagull. What are you talking about? That's very, my bad. Edgar has never seen a seagull. Is this like a sparrow? It would be a, it'd be a, 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 raven. a raven. A raven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There you go. A lofty raven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a little. <laughs> oh, your your old twenty is faster than mine. It hasn't appeared yet. <laughs> okay, that'll pop up in a second. Um, <laughs> thank you. Anything else? <laughs> um. Good to see you guys. Welcome no, in. I, uh, Edgar's pretty satisfied. He's gonna stand right there with a uh, cheese demon right behind him. <laughs> Job well done. <laughs> and I helped. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> oh, they were playing some Sea of Thieves. I hope you had a good a good voyage there. Lo- that lost name. Um, jump in our giveaway if you like yourself some D and D. We have some nice uh, nice giveaways from CZRPG today. Or one giveaway from CZRPG. Um, if D and D's a thing that you enjoy, or if someone in your life enjoys, <laughs> good good. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's the uh, the Raven there. Um, Let's pop uh, our friend over here for a moment. And um, that brings us to Kathiri's turn. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. Um, that puts me at attacking this one. Actually, I think... Yes, I think... Sorry, if you'll, if you'll forgive me here, folks. They melt the sand as their demon lord passes away. Almost. That would be, that would be nice. <laughs> this one, the the four creatures all just swarm Esmeralda, and as they do so, they start to swirl and twirl, and their bodies almost they come apart to... as they just become this cloud of sand and rot and decay. And Edgar. Kafiri, Bjorn, you lose sight of Esmeralda for a moment, and the four of them just dissipate, they just blow to pieces into this strange ethereal sandstorm, 
that just swirls around Esmeralda's form. You see her um, just like, you see uh, for a moment before she disappears, just the sword cutting back and forth. Um, the one that you were fighting there, Esmeralda, does actually get destroyed. Um, <laughs> that one is actually I destroyed. I got you! <laughs> six. But the remaining Yay. three are still there. And as the sand congeals and like f- f- crowds in around her, um, it then just drains down into the sandy cracked ground beneath their feet and Esmeralda's feet. And as that happens, she's gone. <laughs> like that? Oh. Exactly like that. <laughs> oh no. It's a little hand just waving. <laughs> it's like the, the meme where like, you just like, try to high five the person who's drowning. <laughs> yes. And the creatures and Esmeralda Davenir vanish. Oh shit, that, that was important. <laughs> and that's, that's the three happened. of you are left with the howling night winds coming in off the desert, whipping at your clothes. Edgar, exhausted. Kafiri, badly injured. Bjorn, with a horn <laughs> wound in his side. <laughs> it's fine, it's no big deal. And with a single ka, ka, <laughs> the raven turns and it melts into the night, flying uh. towards Usa's pyramid. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> what? Later, <laughs> losers. What? <laughs> like so. Chat, you, you try and make a moment. <laughs> oh, we should have put that fucker in a cage. <laughs> I do you have a cage on you? And yeah, you don't just carry cages? Esmeralda is I gone. I don't, know, one, I don't know who you're talking to, Bjorn. Esmeralda is gone. <laughs> so, right. that is I where we are going to wind. finish today. That's the last thing you said to us. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. So, of course. there we go. Um, that is all for today, my friends. Um, if you are not already, jump into that giveaway. Lots and lots of folks in for that massive raid from Corsair's Cove and our other friends coming through there. Lost name at the end there, and everyone. Thank you so much. Um, thanks for the follows and the uh, subscriptions. I never did see Rishi give that spin of the wheel to someone. If I missed it, Rishi, I apologize. Um, we shall inflict it upon them next time. <laughs> but um, huge thank you, everyone. We shall see. <laughs> thank you, Meats. I, I, I try, I try. Look, look what I'm working with here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The most serious. <laughs> not for good, Thamia, not for good. <laughs> um, okay, so we are going to stop there but do not worry we have plenty of D&D on this channel and if you want some more you will not have to wait very long um, yes as I said everyone jump in that giveaway exclamation mark enter in the chat and we will draw the winner after we say goodbye to our friends here so Kifiri Josh Edgar Mason <laughs> Esmeralda Baron Bjorn Hello. Cheers thank you very very much as always absolute pleasure and we shall see you all again very soon but Esmeralda, I am afraid, has been whisked away and will be the object of your daring rescue attempts for a while. <laughs> um, as they are. Um, I'm fully confident. I guess, it wasn't Strahd this time. <laughs> cheese, cheese. Yeah, it wasn't. So, Strahd, cheese demons, goddammit. <laughs> it was Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, yes, unfortunately, um, Esmeralda is whisked away. But. Kafiri and our new friend Eseret do have a colleague who will be joining us next time as Kafiri, Edgar, Bjorn and this other member of the Magi join forces and attempt to breach the defences of Usa's pyramid in search of the secrets that will unlock the spirits of the Lady of the Forest Thane that they may return it to her physical form also known as Madame Eva, and they can get one step closer to returning Barovia to the material plane. Okay, my friends. So, massive, massive thank you as always. Absolute pleasure as always. And you can catch us again very soon. We will be back here in 10 hours' time as we will be returning to the Feywild, where there are less scary Fey to deal with. 
<laughs> but actually, I say that they're, they're going up against a hag. <laughs> and we'll be joined by our friend Baron Dragonborn as part of Valor's Call, the warrior dwarf who is here to help them. For the kids, they are rescuing the child labor from Scabatha Nightshade's evil toy factory. And can they make it past the screaming scarecrows and the tin soldiers and all of the other things that lie in wait in the hag's lair? Or will they get sidetracked by the goblin candy market? We shall see tomorrow as we play Wild Beyond the Witchlight. I hope you can join us for that. And then we will be back on Saturday with... Actually, before that, sorry. Later on on Friday, we have Chisenta's Tyranny, our sneak peek pre-release playthrough of CZRPG's Chisenta's Tyranny. That is coming up soon. Um, I'm reliably informed that there is a rather special author for the forward of that adventure when it's coming out. And then on Saturday we have our Radiant Citadel Spelljammer crossover, The High Seas. They have defeated the Thraxian mo uh, Star Moth, which was seeking to steal their air, and they are free now to leave Wild Space and venture into the Astral Plane as they continue their mission to return the Concordant Jewel to the Radiant Citadel and uncover one of the lost civilizations that was um, to thankful for their creation, was involved in the creation of the Radiant Citadel and the home of one of the players, the home realm of one of the players. We shall see just how that plays out. Um, and a huge thank you to everyone who joined us and you can catch us all um, here, give us a follow to see when we go live. Jump into the Discord if you want to get all of the news about everything going on there and have the chance to vote in polls that will steer the ship, which is from our recent charity campaign, and see which um, campaign we're going to be playing next when we finish up. Um, and then, after the high seas, do not miss Sunday night, Monday morning, depending where you are, our evil campaign which will bring us around to Out of the Abyss next week as well. Okay, so yes, lots and lots of exciting things happening, as always. And we shall see you all again very soon, my friends. All right, okay, that is that. Time to wrap things up there, my friends. Let us see who our lucky winner for today is. Do a quick refresh here. Da, 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 da. Who is going to get the fabulous Forsaken Bog from CGRPG? Love a good Forsaken Bog. Right? I was gotta good. love a Forsaken Bog. <laughs> Honestly? <laughs> okay, good luck everyone. Tonight's copy of CGRPG's One-Shot Location. Play it as a one-shot. Or into your campaigns goes to... ta -da! JR! Congratulations, JR. Let's double-check we're still in chat. I think so. They were knocking around a little bit before. Um, yes, they are still logged in there. Congratulations, JR. That is going to be winging its way to you very, very soon. Do not worry if you miss the chance. Well, Beyond the Witchlight, Jacinta's Tyranny and High Seas will all have another chance to win this fabulous CGRPG adventure. And we hope to see you then and there. Let us continue all of this fabulous rage train love that we've got going on here and see who is online from our group. Any of our stream team going at the moment? Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see here. Um, our friends. You know what? Our friend. This is someone we haven't raided into for a long time. Our friends in Singapore, Fried Dice Paradise, Josh, ah, over there. Let's go. Yeah, and we haven't raided into them for a good long time. So let's go and say a big, massive hello to Friday's Paradise. They're hanging out and playing some fun games, it seems. So, you know the um, the the, uh, the way to do this, my friends. If you're new here, this is how it goes. Stick around for that raid. Get those Dream Pie point channel points to help our friends in the future. But stick around for the raid. If you've got them, let those phoenixes fly. And till next time, as we say around these parts, my friends, Oyasumi Nasai. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. See you.